What's up? My name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about how to fix simple overloading issues in OBS Studio. If you're using previous versions of OBS Studio, you may notice in the bottom left an encoding icon that pops up either yellow or red, telling you your encoding is overloaded. Essentially, your PC's trying to do too much at once, your game is eating all of your resources, leaving nothing for OBS Studio, or simply OBS Studio isn't set up properly. That's what this video is going to help you fix, and in most cases, it's incredibly simple to do. The first thing you can try if you've never seen this issue before, especially with whatever game you're currently playing, is to simply restart that game. It's unlikely that it may fix things, but if it's a once-off issue for some reason or another, it may be the correct solution. More likely than not, your PCs simply just run out of resources, for OBS Studio, your game's probably cranked way too high or the FPS cap is unlocked, meaning the game's eating your entire graphics card and all of your PC's performance, leaving absolutely nothing left for OBS Studio to record with or stream with. While NVIDIA graphics cards do have a specific NVENC chip in them used for encoding video, the process of capturing them and sticking them into a file still takes some kind of performance out of your PC. So having your graphics card pinned to 100 is usually the culprit and is very simple to fix. The easiest way of fixing it is by locking your game to an FPS a little bit lower than what you're currently getting. In games like Counter-Strike, you could easily be pushing more than 300 FPS and more than likely not seeing more than 60 or 140 of them. Either use the in-game console or in-game settings to lock your FPS to a little bit lower than what you're currently getting or even around your monitor's refresh rate if you're blasting way past it. Simply by limiting your FPS in-game even a little bit, you give OBS a lot of breathing room and it should be able to get things back and running as per usual. You can of course also use third-party software like MSI Afterburner or even RiverTuner to cap your FPS, but of course some anti-cheats may be unhappy with this. If you don't have the ability to lower your FPS cap or use third-party software, the next best thing is to simply just turn down your graphics settings in-game, leaving your graphics card some breathing room for OBS Studio to work in the background. Speaking of background, if you haven't already, it's a good idea to close anything video-related in the background. You may have Chrome open with, say, a couple of YouTube tabs, a Twitch stream, etc. A lot of these are taking away the video processing ability from your PC, or at least from OBS Studio, causing things to overload. A very simple solution is to pause the new videos or streams you're currently watching while you're trying to record or stream yourself, or even close your your browser entirely. Beyond this, if you have nothing running in the background, your PC has ample breathing room, it may just be your OBS settings. Simply fire up OBS Studio, head across to Settings in the bottom right, then head across to Output and the Recording tab or Streaming tab whenever you're having issues with. Simply look for Streaming or Recording Settings, then Encoder, and make sure that you have your NVIDIA graphics card, AMD graphics card, or whatever one of the options selected here. Usually NVIDIA NVENC H.264, AMD's equivalent, or even Intel's equivalent. By selecting an encoder that uses your graphics card, you'll be using extra power available on your PC compared to using X.264, which is CPU-based and CPU-limited. That being said, if you have been streaming using X.264 before, and you have a rather beefy process processor and you've optimized your settings, you may see that you need to crank up your bitrate a little bit to get similar quality recordings, not a huge amount. If you absolutely insist on using X264, the simplest thing to do is look for the preset like this. Change it from whatever option it is, say medium, to the one right above it, fast. The higher you go on this list, the less CPU power it takes to record and compress your video. Though that being said, the higher you go on this list, the more bitrate you'll need to achieve similar quality. This is especially noticeable between, say, fast and ultra fast. Usually you'll go one step at a time, check your output video recording, and adjust your bitrate as necessary. If you're streaming to Twitch, that isn't something you'll be able to customize. There are limits on video streaming platforms, so check your platform's limits and of course your internet's limits as well. My internet may be super fast, but being located really far away from the London Twitch servers, all the way down here in South Africa, I need to keep my bitrate really low to keep a stable stream to Twitch. But anyways, you've probably been streaming for a while, you should understand what bitrate is. Just speed up your encoder if you're using X264, otherwise select a graphics-based encoder and you can pretty much completely forget about having issues anyways. However, if you're still having issues, there is one final thing we can try and do, and that's adjust the resolution of OBS itself. 
head across to settings, then video, and inside of here, change the base canvas resolution to whatever your monitor is set to, then the output scale resolution to whatever you'd like to record in. For example, I have a screen that's 2K, I can crank it down to 1080 or even 720p. So if I change the scaled resolution to 1080, apply OK and start recording, I'll record a 1080p video, which should take quite a bit of strain off my PC, especially if I'm playing games in 4K, etc. You can also lower the base canvas resolution here, so I'll set this to 1080 for example, but you'll see things get a little bit wonky here. You'll need to go through each of your separate sources here and send to them as you would usually. A little hotkey for this is Control F to send to this to your screen and crop it so it fits pretty much perfectly. Just know that if you adjust your settings back, say I go back to 2K here for my base canvas output resolution, things get a bit smaller. Once again, select your sources, Control F, and they get scaled to your screens. It's as simple as that. All in all, it really just comes down to a fight for resources on your PC as long as there's some resources available for OBS Studio to run, it really shouldn't be an issue. But regardless, that's a pretty simple crash course of getting things working again. As for your games randomly crashing, well, that's completely separate. Thank you all for watching this video. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.